Hey everybody, it's Barbara, and this is take two. My phone shut off during take one. So we're gonna try this again. So, hello and welcome to Pick a Stack. If you're new to Pick a Stack, this is what we do here. First of all, we're sitting in the sun and it's glorious. I got it shining right in my face, which I love. Um, we're starting off with some golden singing bell. This raises the frequency of me and the cards and you and this big black tourmaline that's sitting here that I'll show you in a minute. Um, and it just feels wonderful. We have three stacks today, three decks. Your mission is to think of an idea, idea is your question pertaining to yourself, your loved ones, your community, or the world and then choose a stack. And today, stack number one is the Spirit Song Tarot deck. Stack number two is the Shamanic Medicine Oracle deck. Stack number three is the Beyond Lemuria Oracle deck. Now, just to change things up a little bit, we are also going to add a card from the medicine card deck, which is basically a spirit animal um, to each stack. So you're gonna get two cards in each stack today. All right, because this is take number two, I already have stack one <laughs> sitting here ready to go because I already did the reading. So I'm gonna do it again. And I'm probably gonna say something different this time. So in stack number one, you get the eight of crystals. Now the Eight of Crystals is represented in this deck by Tatanka Bison Buffalo. This animal is very grounded. Think about a couple thousand pounds on the hoof. Um, they look like they'd be like lumbering and slow, but they can actually move really fast. And all you have to do is watch one of those videos from Yellowstone where there's tourists doing stupid things around the bison. And you can see how fast they can move. Um, I'm sorry, I find those videos amusing because it's a couple thousand pounds. Come on, why are you trying to goad it into doing something? I actually, I actually cheer for the bison when they do get a tourist because, really? Anyway, that's funny, I didn't talk about that in my first take. All right. So this card is talking about don't give up. Be dedicated to your goal, your destination, your purpose, whatever that is for you. Um, think about the bison in the snow. There's a whole bunch of snow. Does he stop? No, he wants to get over there, maybe where his family is or where there's food. And he puts his head down and he's like a big snow plow. And his head down plowing that snow so he can walk on that path. He's not going to give up. After all that we've put the, the bison through, in, in America anyway, he hasn't given up. I mean, that's huge. He's still here. He is a sacred animal. Back in the day, the natives would use every part of the animal, right? They would use the feet. They would use the bones. They would use the hides. And they would use the horns and the meat and the tail. I mean, everything, they would use every part. It's an abundance of resources. And that's what the Eight of Earth or the Eight of Crystals is. It's an abundance of resources. But it's also utilizing those resources to attain your goal and to share with others. Okay, so this is, this is talking about, you know, okay, what just came to me is, is back in the day, or probably now too, um, the Lakota and other native indigenous tribes saw wealth as having enough to give away. So those who would give away were the wealthiest people. Um, it doesn't mean keep it for yourself. It means to share it with others so that the whole family, the whole clan, the whole tribe, the whole planet prospers. And 
you know, in other decks, this would be the Eight of Pentacles. So this is all about, sorry, there's a mosquito. Um, this is all about that abundance coming in. And it could be an abundance of money, you know, wealth. Um, maybe you're gonna inherit something. Um, but there's some kind of abundance. It could be abundance of things. Um, but it, those, they're showing me somebody on their path. Those things will be used for you on your path. Like not to be said in the attic or the garage or whatever. Whatever's coming to you is to be used for whatever is coming for you. So just know that whatever's coming for you, you're gonna use that for a highest and greatest good of more than yourself. Does that make sense? And that, that Tatanka, that bison, that buffalo, very, very powerful animal, sacred, powerful. And he's saying that you, ha you will have everything you need to do your mission, to do, to fulfill your purpose, whatever that is. Okay, I gotta get some water, hang on. I'm already baking in the sun. I'm doing this earlier in the day in the hopes that it wouldn't be too hot. And I already feel like I'm toasty. All right, so we're gonna add to that a card from the medicine card deck. This is by Jamie Sams. We get card number 33. This is the weasel. First of all, card number 33. 33 is a master number. It's divisible by 11. Um, threes are all about ascended masters. So this is a powerful card. It's got a lightning bolt on the back. They all do, but I feel like that lightning bolt is even more powerful with a 33 on it. Um, so let's see what the book says about the weasel. 33. There it is right there. Weasel has an incredible amount of energy and ingenuity, yet it is a difficult power totem to have. It is not without significance that the weasel pelt or ermine is worn by royalty. You know, it used to be way, way, way back in the day, you'd see the, the, the velvet or fur cloak and it had the white trim with the little black dots. That's the ermine. Weasel ears hear what is really being said. This is a great ability. Weasel eyes see beneath the surface of a situation to know the many ramifications of an event. This too is a rare gift. So hearing what's really going on and seeing what's really going on behind the scenes to enable you to be on this path that you're on. Um, you know, what comes to me is not everybody in your life needs to know what your plans are. And it's really sad to say, but sometimes um, it's best to not, you know, to keep that information close to you because there's a lot of people out there that are jealous, insecure, whatever, and they don't want other people to succeed. I'm not saying keep it a secret. I'm just saying keep certain things real close to you um, just to be on the safe side. And listen to what's really going on out there and see what's really going on out there okay so that's stack number one and at the beginning i said i was going to show the uh, black tourmaline that's here i just want to do that real quick this is our black tourmaline today you can't have too much black tourmaline and what's really cool is i don't know if you can see this i'll have to wait and see when i replay the video but look at the sparkles from the sun i love it have to be careful with raw tourmaline because ooh, sparkles on me. I'll take the sparkles, but little pieces come off. So you want to be careful handling raw tourmaline because the more you handle it, the smaller it's going to get. All right, that was step one. Let's do the singing bell.
and let's do stack number two. If you chose stack number two, you get the Shamanic Medicine deck. And what do my people need to know in stack number two today? Still really stiff. our people need to know today? What do our stack two people need to know today? It's that one. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. So this is a fairly new deck for me. Um, we get the card called Plant Medicine or Truth. Plant medicine. There's no number associated with it, but it is on page 80. 80 reduces to 8, which is all about abundance. We'll take that. Plant medicine revealed. Shamans have been using plant medicine for thousands of years. Plants are gifts from the gods left on earth to teach and heal us. We can work with plant medicine for healing vision work, and to find balance and harmony between ourselves and the planet. Fully investigate a matter before making an agreement. It's time to leave an unhealthy situation. Check in with and trust your intuition. Someone may be hiding something from you. Admit the truth before someone else reveals it. Live your truth. I'm going to add that whole leave the unhealthy situation. So the way the planets are in alignment right now and with all the retrogrades and all the plasma coming from the sun, this is a time of either breakup or come together. If you're not with somebody, you'll probably be coming together with somebody. If you're with somebody and it's toxic, this is the time to release that toxicity. Um, and that could be friends, family members, Things, um, you know, it might be that that thing that you've always wanted is going to come to you. Um, but just know that it's not just you. Yesterday was such an interesting day for me. Literally, every single person I talked to was going on and on about how this person is toxic, and this person, you know, we're getting a divorce, and this person's dying, and this, per and it was all about leaving every single person and by the end of the day it was just like holy cow I wish all you people could get together and see how you're all going through the same thing it's not just this one person over here and this one person over here everybody's going through it and you need to know that that this breaking apart of things is to help us get to where we need to be. We have to let go of the baggage of the, the lower frequency energy so we can rise up. And what that, that other person does, whatever they do, that's on them. Your job is to raise your frequency. And just know that you can't raise anybody else's frequency. You can't. We all have to raise our own frequency. Sorry, I got distracted by the mailman behind me. <laughs> so plant medicine. Plant medicine card is talking about how we need to work with Mama Earth. Um, we need to work with the trees. You know, one thing about the trees is the trees will accept toxic energy from you. Physically, they take toxins in and they um, transmute them, right? Pollution, they transmute it into oxygen. But spiritually they also do the same thing so if you have attachments if you know somebody with attachments you can ask a tree ask a big tree though don't ask the young trees okay we need to ask a big strong tree that's been around a long time because um, they're strong and powerful but ask them will you please take this toxic energy and then just place your hands on that tree 
and send that toxic energy into the tree. But you gotta ask permission first, okay? Um, there's other versions of plant medicine. Herbs, eating vegetables. Every time we eat vegetables, we're eating part of Mother Earth, right? She is providing us with sustenance. And we should be thanking Mother Earth for that broccoli or those carrots or those apples or water because then we become part of her. Remember, whatever we, t whatever we take into this body, we become part of. So everything comes from Mother Earth. The animals, the tatanka, the deer, the beef, the chicken, the fish, it's all part of Mother Earth. So thank Mother Earth for all the sustenance that she's providing all of us. And that's whether you're eating it, drinking it, smoking it, taking it as a supplement, whatever. Okay, thank Mother Earth. Um, we're gonna add to that card from the medicine card deck. get card number nine butterfly 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 is a harbinger of change butterfly can give clarity to your mental process help you organize the project you're undertaking and assist you in finding the next step for your personal life or career the main message to be obtained from drawing this card is that you are ready to undergo some type of transformation. Now you're probably already in the midst of a transformation, but they want you to acknowledge it, right? The old ways don't work anymore, people. That's the old matrix. Get out of it. Get out of the old ways of doing things. If you've done the exact same thing every frickin' day for the last umpteen years of your life, Figure out a different way to do it. To discern what your next move is, ask the butterfly. And that's kind of funny because this blue butterfly has been very instrumental in my life in the last few weeks. So it's kind of funny how the blue butterfly comes. And it's not a monarch, it's not a, you know any other butterfly, it's a blue butterfly. Um, I got stories. I'll save them for another time. But just know that that butterfly is bringing in a change. Um, we're grateful, and then the universe bestows upon us new things, new physical things, new people, new energies. And we're grateful for those then too. But remember, the caterpillar goes into its cocoon or creates its cocoon. It doesn't just go and become a butterfly. It's not how it works. It goes through that icky, gooey, falling apart phase in order to become that beautiful butterfly. So there's certain people that I'm thinking about right now and I'm sending you all big hugs. I know you've been going through the icky, gooey transformation phase, but just know that you're gonna be that beautiful butterfly. You're gonna bloom like a flower. You're gonna be something more than you are right now. Just like I'm becoming something more than I was before. We all are. All you have to do is receive, okay? And know that you're worthy, which you are. We know that. All right, that was stack number two. Already getting all hot and sweaty. From the weather. <laughs> all right, you chose stack number three. You get a card from Beyond Lemuria. what the Lemurians have to say. If you're a star seed, the Lemurians might resonate with you. The Lemurians were a beautiful race of beings 
they were in the love frequency. And some people say that um, they're in the Mount Shasta area, California, that area. All right, so cards just flew out. And the one that was on the top is card number 20. Two plus zero is two. To keep your thoughts positive, um, we're all manifesting. If you haven't noticed it yet that you're manifesting, you are manifesting and you need to pay attention because you're a magnet. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're worrying about, whatever you're feeling, that's what you're gonna be attracting. So keep your thoughts positive. And that's what that number two is. Um, this is the card beyond the mind. And because the sun is right in my eyes, I can't tell how much of the card you can see. Beyond the mind, card number 20. Think with the heart, be present. Heart and mind connection, the bliss of being. Quieting the monkey mind. Okay, I just got a little bit about that monkey mind. So I have a motorcycle, all right? And I was talking with a friend of mine and, and he says, does it have a stereo? And I said, yeah. He goes, well, how loud is it? I said, I don't know, I've never turned it on. What do you mean you've never turned it on? When I ride, I become one with my surroundings. If I pass cattle or horses or, or some animals out in the field, I send them blessings and I talk to them. Hi cows. Um, when I'm passing by farmer's fields, I will bless them. When, when I'm out there, I'm smelling the smells, I'm seeing the sights, I'm feeling the energies. Why would I want a stereo on? And I've thought about this a lot because I know there's a lot of other people that have motorcycles that have to have their stereo just blasting. Um, and the reason is because the monkey mind needs stimulation. External stimulation. I can go inside myself and I'm not saying I'm better than anybody, okay? I'm, believe me, no. I'm just saying when I'm out there riding, I become one with nature. That's what's entertaining my mind. I'm feeling. And we don't always need to have external stimulus to keep our mind busy. Now, it's something you have to practice at. You don't need to have sound on all the time. You don't need to have your phone on or your stereo or your TV. Um, it's all about finding that still point where you can just be. It's funny because, you know, I'm out in the driveway right now and my bus is literally right there. And when I drive across South Dakota, I can't get any radio stations. I get hardly any um, um, bars on my phone. So I don't listen to anything. I just sing and I talk and I talk to my dog and, you know, for like eight hours. and. There's people that go, oh my God, how can you do that? It's easy. You just, it's like you get into a meditative state. And that's part of what this card is, where to go. That's funny, I lost the card, there it is. Um, that's what this card is all about, is, is finding that still point. You become more powerful when you don't have all that other crap on. And that's part of why all that crap was created, um, was so that you're not finding out how powerful you are. You want to know how powerful you are, because then you can make things happen. Um, when a really bad storm comes, you can save your home, because you just visualize protection around your home. The storm passes over your house. Um, and the thing is, we can all do this all of us. So that's that bliss of being and quieting the monkey mind. 
finding happiness within and going beyond intellectual limitation. Your brain, your mind limits you. Your heart is limitless. You have everything, everything at your disposal. What do you want? It's your mind that makes you think that you have limits. You don't have limits. For example, let's say you're not supposed to eat ice cream because you're lactose intolerant. Somebody told you you're lactose intolerant, so you believe it. You take that into your, into your mind and your heart. Nope, I can't eat any dairy. So you actually give that power. If you don't give it power, if you say, here's my bowl of ice cream, okay? This ice cream has no power over me. I can eat ice cream, I can eat dairy, and it does not have any ill effects on my body. Just have this conversation with yourself, with your body, with the ice cream. And guess what? You can eat that ice cream with no ill effects. Because everything's energy. The energy you put towards that bowl of ice cream was, I'm lactose intolerant, that will have ill effects on my body. You created the limitation based on what somebody told you. So let go of the limitation, create a new version of reality that I can eat whatever I want and it doesn't have ill effects on my body. My body will turn this into something beneficial that it needs to be divinely healthy. It's all here, okay? It's not necessarily here, it's all here. Make that be something healthy. All right. So beyond the mind, get past the mind. Love and think through the heart. Change your reality. Now, let's add a card from the medicine card deck. What spirit animal do we have? What spirit animal do my stack three people need? stuck in my hand. Card number 31, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is a very solid foundation, solid, grounded number. And we get the turkey. Now, we had Tatanka or Bison in stack number 1, We have, which is very grounding and also provides a lot of resources. And so does the turkey. The turkey also provides a lot of resources. And it's also about sacrifice. Think about what the turkey does for us every year. Um, turkey is actually thought to be the giveaway eagle or south eagle of many native tribes. The philosophy of giveaway was practiced by many tribes. Simply stated, it is the deep and abiding recognition of the sacrifices of both self and others. People in modern day society who have many times more than they need should study the noble turkey who sacrifices itself so that we may live. In turkey's death, we have our life. We need to honor the turkey. You have been, you are being given a gift. This gift could be spiritual, material, or even intellectual. The gift may be great or small, but it is never insignificant. Congratulations, you may have just won the lottery. And that doesn't mean, you know, the big lottery. It could mean, you know, a new relationship. It could mean um, you were gifted a vehicle from your friends or parents or something. Um, or the gift may be a beautiful sunset or the smell of a fragrant flower. On the other hand, you may feel the spirit of giving growing within you and wanting to share with others. So kind of like my trip to the reservation in a couple weeks, this turkey represents my whole trip, all the, all the things that I'm going to bring to the people and not just things, but hope, um, just faith in humanity. Faith in humanity is huge, and not everybody gets to experience that. 
Um, so if you chose stack number three, you get beyond the mind, think from the heart, and this is the giveaway eagle, the turkey. Um, I said earlier that a lot of native indigenous tribes believe that the wealthy ones are the ones who have the most to give away. And that rings true with this giveaway eagle or turkey card. We are living in times right now where we're supposed to be helping each other. And that's not just me saying that. I've been given that message many, many times this year from different people, from different places, um, from my spirit guides. Um, a lot of people are passing to the other side and a lot of people are sad and miserable a lot of people don't have everything they need and some of us have way more than we need so whatever we can give to help others I call it scoring bonus points with the universe because we do and it makes your heart grow. It makes your heart feel good. This necklace is really hot, ouch. <laughs> You'll feel amazing. You know, they say one man's trash is another man's treasure. Um, there's things that we can go through, things that we haven't used in a long time, and we can donate to somebody because to them it's a treasure. A lot of us don't realize how much we truly have. So maybe take a moment and count your blessings and be grateful. And maybe share a little bit with others. Okay? That's my emotional message for today. <laughs> I am sending you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, joy, success, divine health, like all good things. We're all worthy. Every single being on this planet is worthy. The animals, the four-legged things, and the slithering things, and the swimming things, and the flying things, and the crawling things, and the plants, and the trees, and the grasses. We're all worthy of all good things. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful day. Mwah. Namaste.